Since that day, I felt like I'm wandering the night. But I had forgotten that this is a world upon which the sun does rise. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you all. <laughs> so, how is everyone today? How, how are you all? I hope folks are doing well. I turned my fan on. I don't like it. The, the berserk music is too loud in my head. I don't enjoy it one bit. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm glad you're all doing good. Scarlet, you miss me. Oh, that's so sweet. I miss you all too. Um, God, I definitely needed the week off last week. And I can't believe that today when I was ready to stream is just like, no. Um, what should we call it? Don't know if it's a setting. It was over at Cloud Fluffs and there was an ad that showed at the bottom and side of the screen, but didn't block content. I think that's a freaking new feature yeah i think that's a new ad feature i don't know if i have it turned on but i can look into that if that's something would people would prefer if like people like those but i also like working them in this way sort of like gives a built-in break so i don't know i want to make sure that you guys are having a good experience so i try not to like do too many ad things lack of power said you get an extra hour of no streaming break time but it wasn't even break time i was just like okay well i'm not gonna get any extra time later so i have to go do my chores so i went and i did other things that i needed to do today anyway and then i ran out of stuff that i could do without power and whatnot so i was like ah shit <laughs> ah well my goodness so yeah anyway um did a bad job of giving you a break. It did. It did a very bad job of giving me a break. Hello, hello, Kieran. Oh my goodness, I didn't welcome people. I wrote a new stream template and I forgot to put in like welcome people. Um I need let me write that down. <laughs> my goodness. So hello Scarlet. Welcome. Hello, Sad and K. Congrats on the first redeem and welcome to Kieran. It's so good to have you all. Thank you just for showing up to late stream. We're gonna uh, run. Uh, we're gonna run for two hours still, like usual. Um, so it's 2 p.m. here. So we're gonna stream until 4 p.m. EST. So that should be good. Um, you get the first welcome even though you're late. Yeah, you got, you reminded me that I forgot. <laughs> so at least there's that. So yeah, um, thank you so much to everyone for the patience of uh, me taking uh, last week off. I promised myself after like my first month off, I think that was back in April, that I wasn't gonna like make myself stream when I wasn't up for it. And I was absolutely exhausted last week, so taking off was really helpful. 
Um, and then I also had a weirdly busy weekend. <laughs> so honestly, I needed it. So thank you so much, everyone, for being considerate. <laughs> you deserve all the breaks. Aw, thank you. Thank you. I have my uh, vacation one at the end of this month because I try to give myself a vacation like a week off once a quarter since I'm my own boss. So that ends up being like every three months I take like a whole week off. That's not going to affect stream though. I'm still going to stream. Um, But yeah, so what are we going to get up to today? Um, We're going to be dishing out the last of this like um goals from the charity stream. Those sort of prizes. The content prizes? I don't know what to call them. We hit the goals that we uh, shot for. So, the first thing is we're going to finish building a Pathfinder 2nd Edition character up to level 20, which should be really fun. Um, I wanted to keep building Emmett, but I didn't. <laughs> I waited just for you all, and I got it done. And I can share the build link, so... You too will be able to play Emmett in your games. I for I didn't write myself a list of hotkeys. Whoops. I just cycled through all of my hotkeys. I need to make a new hotkey list too. Nailed it. Whoopsies. I really am rusty. God. <laughs> um so with that, I hope you'll enjoy that. Oh, and after we get the build done. We're going to try to beat Kirby in the Forgotten Lands without any copy abilities. Your new backup character for Valoron. Oh, God. <laughs> Passes oil can. God damn it. <laughs> I love you all. Um, so after that, we're going to play Kirby in the Forgotten Lands because our $300 uh, charity stream goal was that I would try to beat Ultimate Cup C without any copy abilities. And I have some additional complications for that. I, um, I haven't played the game on my own since, like, I got 100% on stream. I just haven't touched it. I don't tend to go back to games very often. Um, so I'm rusty. And also, I couldn't find the holster for my Joy-Cons. So I'm using my wireless GameCube controller. For the switch today <laughs> so i'm gonna try the hardest challenge in the game with a controller i haven't used for it before with a handicap of not using any copy abilities so that should be fun i'm looking forward to that um and if we have any time left over uh i've been playing an ocarina of time randomizer so i think what do y'all think of busting out the ocarina of time randomizer if we have time after kirby no promises, but I think it would be fun because that's kind of how I've been relaxing. <laughs> I um, I made it so I could actually buy bomb chews in the store once I've acquired them. So that makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> but yeah, I think we should uh, we should hop into things, shouldn't we? Y'all want, want to build characters, don't you? You love watching randomizer things. It's so fun. I'm going to be like straight with y'all. I freaking like i started playing um or i was watching griffin do the griffin mcelroy do a trial by fieri episode and i straight up was like god damn it this makes me want to play randomizers again i changed up where my notes are so give me a hot second i gotta mm, gotta move my stream notes Running out of screen real estate here, y'all. <laughs> How could I? All right. Give me the notebook for this. And then give me the that notes. There we go. Sounds fun. I've been playing watching I've been watching Corexel play Tears of the Kingdom and enjoying the Zelda content. Heck yeah. I straight up I haven't played tears of the kingdom in a while <laughs> i need to get back to it it might be nice to do <laughs> so anyway let's hop on over to here so we got freaking emmet all built not all built i need to turn the 
Why is my Firefox volume so loud? Hold up. <laughs> okay. There's that. That's much better. Hello, Grimo! Thank you for the hydrate! It's been so long! Welcome! God, is this the first hydrate on my new thermos? Oh my gosh. There's a hydrate for you all. Heck yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> oh god, here's a hydrate for Scarlet. <laughs> Turn off the lights. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have it. I could I could do something real silly real quick. Oh god, here's a hydrate for Scarlet. I just closed my water bottle. You all How could you? <laughs> you people. My goodness. Ah, Scarlet, stop! I just closed my water bottle! I'm Sadie! Oh my goodness, here's a hydrate for Scarlet, Kitty. And here's a hydrate for Sad and Kay. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> How could you? How could you all do this to me? <laughs> See, what if we just, like... Um, what if I turned off the lights? How would I do this? Hmm. <laughs> Trying to think of like a, a prank way I would do I didn't turn off my Streamlabs timer. No. God damn it. I didn't turn off everything from the charity stream. This is not a charity stream. <laughs> I really, this is so scuffed. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh my goodness. Give me a moment. I'll get that. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're going to hop back into building Emmett. Um, oh gosh. Let me turn off these timers. <laughs> okay. That's off. Good. Let me turn off the other commands. Okay. Okay. Those are turned off now. <laughs> uh, God damn it. The text to speech, of course. Hello. Strangely Brown heads up on Path Builder. My old friend. How I missed you. I do know this about Path Builder. Um, already. But thank you for the heads up, Strangely Brown, and also welcome to chat. Yeah, I'm a I'm a DM. I know quite well about things with slightly different names. <laughs> um Yeah. I also already have the paid version <laughs> of Path Pillar, mostly because of being a DM, so I need it. Cool, cool. Now there's no. Yeah, so that's an important thing. Some stuff is just named differently, but whatever. It works. And it makes life easy. So we're gonna finish building this lovely lovely character uh catches some people out yeah i definitely had some stuff where i looked up a feat and i was like huh and but i i figured it out because it was like in the suggestions on nethus so for folks who are uh who haven't been here <laughs> yeah um for folks who haven't been here we're doing one of the uh milestone goals from the charity stream of we're building a 20th level path builder character together or pathfinder character together and chat chose that we would build my partner emmett who uh also dms and he's a little bit of a gremlin so we made him a goblin and he also like makes music and writes and such so we made him a bard um i haven't looked at this in quite a while so I'm going to try to figure out <laughs> what our like picks were. So we made a Charhide Goblin um, because of connection to fire. Emmett just really likes lighting candles <laughs> and staring at them sometimes. Goblin friend or perhaps fiend. I am looking at Emmett. Goblin friend or goblin fiend. They're sort of more acquaintances, I think. How could you do that to me? No, not like you. Me and Chad. Oh. I see. <laughs> well, there you all have it. 
<laughs> there you all have it. <laughs> um, so we got Charhard Goblin. We got Goblin Song, which is a very fun feat when you're a bard. <laughs> you attempt a performance check and just try to fucking annoy the shit out of everyone who can hear you. It's it's fantastic. We got Catfall, Triumphant Boast, Loremasters, Etude. What does Loremasters Etude? You magically unlock memories, making them easier to recall. When did I... When did I pick that? <laughs> I guess Emmett does randomly tell me facts though, so that makes sense. We got Dirge of Doom. Call and response is fun, just because I uh, Emmett likes um, work songs and like sea shanties, so I thought that would be a fun feat to pick for him. Um, House of Imaginary Walls. We got Spell Dance. What the heck is Spell Dance? Oh god, that's right, you can perform and move. There's so many crazy things at higher levels in Pathfinder. My god. True hypercognition at level 14. You instantly use up to five recall knowledge actions. <laughs> it's just silly. You just get, there's just a feat that is a brain blast. I love it. I don't know why it's like this, but it is. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got the last feat that we got was an ancestry feat of reckless abandon. You need that feat IRL. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's what a notepad on your phone is for, right? <laughs> I just write. I have a million incomprehensible notes on my phone. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, goodness. So reckless abandon goblin. What does this do? Just so I can figure it out. The remainder of turn, if you roll a critical failure on a saving throw against a harmful effect, you get a success instead. But then you forget to look at the notes. No, that's that's fair. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the case. These benefits apply only to harmful effects incurred entirely during your turn in which you activate that. Okay, so. Okay, so that's a thing. Where you just, for one round, anything that you get a crit fail on, you get a success instead, which is insane. So we got three more levels of stuff to pick. Oh boy. So we get to pick a class feat. Let's see what options we have. We could, okay. What is all in my head? As a reaction, you would take damage from a strike or spell that doesn't have the death trait or otherwise cause instant death, such as disintegrate. Using your occult connections and incredible powers of persuasion, you convince yourself that the triggering damage is a figment of your imagination. The damage changes from its usual type to mental damage, and the damaging effect gains the non-lethal trait. You can't use this reaction if you're immune to mental effects or mental damage. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, that's fantastic. What is discordant voice? <laughs> um, your inspire courage lets loose a discordant shriek that imbues your allies' attacks with powerful sonic reverberations. While your allies are affected by your inspire courage, their weapon strikes and unarmed attacks deal an additional 1d6 sonic damage? Oh my god. <laughs> if you don't mind, it doesn't matter exactly. Um, it's vigorous inspiration. Um, oh, that gives you extra temp hit points. Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. Do we want, what feels the most Emmett-y? I feel like discordant, I feel like giving your allies extra damage would be fun, but I don't know how Emmett-y that is. Hmm. I think giving your allies temporary hit points is like a thing that he would do in real life, you know? Just like, behold, I play a song to soothe your woes, you know? You know, it might be fun. Hmm. You learn the soothing ballad composition spell, increase the number of focus points. So I think that one just heals you. Do we like get really sweet? Do we, what if we got really sweet with this one, y'all? Do we give him the ability to heal? This little goblin scutlin man? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. You soothe your soothing ballad. 
because I believe if I recall correctly, a soothing ballad. <laughs> Okay, Soothing Ballad attempts to counteract fear effects, attempts to counteract effects imposing paralysis. Rest the Holy shit, the spell's Soothing Ballad is a 7th level compositions spell? What? I was inclined to say yes, be sweet, but also he say mean things to you in VC. Well, that's because you say bad jokes in VC. <laughs> you run in and go, hi, here. I'm Sadie. <laughs> I don't know what you expected. It's just things about tieflings. Tiefling is anyone who has fiend blood in their ancestry, so it isn't just devils. Uh, thus, a human with uh, rock chasa blood, it's fiend, may look like a human tiger tail and face with fur. This will be a tiefling. That's awesome. Hi, Sadie. I'm Sadie. My jokes are good. <laughs> are you sure about that? I don't know about that, but that's awesome. That is so cool, Brown. I didn't actually know that about tieflings lore-wise. Because, like, I am I'm an artist. I will let my players have their characters look however, as long as they have, like, the reasonable traits that that could have. Um, a thousand percent sure, God. Because, like, I don't know. I gave one of my tieflings in my current campaign, like, one of my tiefling NPCs, a crocodile tail. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. He's just got he's got a big bulky crocodile tail and it's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, I think the only thing I'm a pain in the ass to my players about characters looking a certain way is um, having black sclerosis, but that's only because it has lore implications in my setting. <laughs> Rolls to give Sadie's joke a buff, but gets up one. Paizo released a book on it in first edition uh, with fiend folio pictures. That's cool. That is very cool. Heck yeah. I'm kind of here for the soothing ballad one. 78 hit points is insane for a focus spell. That's like really good. Like, yeah, I'm getting that at 18th level, but, but. All right. All right. What's our skill feat that we're getting? Uh, did I already give Emmett Combat Climber. He likes climbing things. I'm giving him Combat Climber just because I think it's funny. <laughs> and it's hard to pick good uh, climbing feats. So, or it's hard to pick like good skill feats because there's so many. There's so many. I know I could filter things, but I don't want to. <laughs> uh, what is our skill increase? What else can we get to Legendary? Hmm... Of course, I got his deception to legendary. That's very important uh, since Emmett's also a dungeon master. Hmm. What about? I think we should get the stealth up to master. I think that's important. <laughs> oh, goodness. So what do we get for 19 for a skill increase? Can we just... Oh, oh, I, that was the one that I picked. I'm a fool. We get a general feat, though. Oh, God. What feat do we want? <laughs> What's reveal machinations? You reveal that you played a minor but recurring role in another humanoid's life, or at least convince them that's the case. Attempt a deception check against the target's will DC. On a success, the revelation makes them frightened, too. What? <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> It's just that I know that man. <laughs> all right, all right, let's take a look at Legendary Performer. You famous spread throughout the lands. NPCs who succeeded a DC 10 society check to recall knowledge have heard of you and usually have an attitude towards you one step better than normal, depending on your reputation and the NPC's disposition. Ooh, I think that's fun. You know, people know who you are. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that because it's a good feat to grab there. All right, it's level 20 time. What abilities are we going to boost? Let's get that charisma up to a plus six. That's essential for a bard. Um, Dex. 
Hmm. I think intelligence also is an essential boost. So now we have to choose between strength, constitution, or wisdom. Last time I was building this, I know I refused to put points in wisdom just because Emmett tried to wash his hands with the power washer while it was on. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pictures goblin at Emma saying, do you know who I am? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. So strength, constitution, or wisdom. Do we get one rank in wisdom? I don't know. In the, in the morning, screaming crowds of young people screaming outside of the tavern you're staying at. Basically, the best way to make your hands clean is remove them. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, God. So strength, constitution, or wisdom? I don't know. I don't know. Do you feel like Emmett's a strong boy? Is he more durable or is he wise? I think he's given me wise advice recently. So I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna get rid of that minus one to wisdom. How do we feel about that? That's not too much of a crime, is it? Hmm. Oh God, I have to choose one to buff? No negatives, hell yeah. Exactly, I do always think it's funny to leave like a negative modifier. <laughs> it's always fun to have a character who's like super good at one thing terrible at like some other thing hmm i know i'm the i'm the type of person where i very much want to know middle sliders my D, &D characters <laughs> i'm like i would i would rather have like a plus four in something and a minus two in something else than like be freaking then like i don't know a plus one and everything <laughs> I don't know, plus one, is he, he did try to clean his hands with the power wash. He did, but also he gave me wise life advice. I was laying around going, hmm, I have a headache. This sucks. And then Emma just looked at me and was like, water, food, uh, pain medicine. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't do any of those. So yeah. This is why I chose to let Nisha have literally no strength and never increase it was because it was hilarious. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, you know, a freaking Killian, my backup character in our game. I refuse to put points in his bluff. <laughs> I will not put points in his bluff because he's honest. Do not ask him to lie about anything. It's a coin toss as to whether or not he'll do it well. Okay, do we think Emmett's good at diplomacy? I feel like I feel like he'd be pretty good at diplomacy. He's good, better at talking to people than I am. I'll pick that. <laughs> so we have to pick our level 20 class feat and our level 20 skill feat. <laughs> Hello, Wyeth. Welcome. I don't know what that voice crack was. Don't mind me. <laughs> don't mind me at all. Goodness. <laughs> Oh yay, I just noticed you're a Todd. I'm a Todd too. Yay! Well, that is one of my names upon the internet. It comes from um my one of my old OCs. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way, Strangely Brown. Welcome to the beans. Oh shit, yeah, also it's affiliate anniversary. Holy heck, I've been doing affiliate stuff. I've been a Twitch affiliate for two years. That's wild. What the hecky? Why have I... I've been at this for a little while. That's bonkers to me. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> so what is our level 20 feat? What's it going to be? So you're turning Sangle into a Pathfinder character? Uh, we're turning... Um, we're turning Emmett into a Pathfinder character. <laughs> On my name. Cool. Uh, real life. Uh, Todd is a fox. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, all right. All right. What is head of the night parade? Um, you perform and cast eighth level mad monkeys three times? Except that the spell calls various apparitions such as dancy, dancing Tsukumogami or drinking oni rather than monkeys. Each casting can produce a different kind of mischief 
You can sustain all three spells each round using a single perform action. What the hell? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> you what is Song of the Fallen? I don't know. Sorry, I saw Head of the Night Parade. I was like, what the hell is that? But what is Song of the Fallen? I want to know. The moving power of your songs can stir the spirits of the dead to rise once more and fight alongside you. You learn Song of the Fallen composition spell. Increase the number of focus points in your pool, focus pool by one. All right. All right. We got to look up. We got to look up Song of the Fallen. Um... So let's go get that. Give me the spell. And then I want to see what Mad Monkeys does. I want to know what the Mad Monkey spell is. <laughs> this is like such a silly name. Holy shit, we have Sun Wukong. I didn't realize we had Sun Wukong in Pathfinder. <laughs> Magical monkey spirits fill the areas they pile and climb on top of one another. Because the monkeys are magical spirits, they can't be attacked or hurt. <laughs> oh, you can make them docile. Choose the kind of mischief your monkeys make when you cast the spell. They produce the effect listed for that mischief when you cast the spell for the first time each round when you sustain it. Each time you sustain the first time each round when you sustain the spell, you can move the area of the monkeys by five feet. So we have flagrant burglary. My god, fantastic. Raucous din. Uh tumultuous gymnastics. <laughs> oh my god. Fantastic. Okay, so there's mad monkeys. What does Song of the Fallen do? A uh, warning, this spell may contain spoilers from the Age of Ashes adventure path. Uh, you chant a Dirger elegy that causes... Or I guess it's elegy? Is it elegy or elegy? Elegy! You're welcome. How could you? How could you, my bard friend <laughs> that I'm building right now? Am it right? E e elegy. Elegy. I think that's what Emmett said. <laughs> I hope I didn't immediately lose it. <laughs> um, animated creatures have slowed one. If you target dead creatures, the body animate. Oh my god. If you target undead creatures, each undead must attempt a basic will save. Holy shit! Failure! The undead takes a hundred positive damage and is slowed for one minute! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's insane! Then again, okay, never mind, this is a 10th level spell. Never mind, this is a 10th level spell. <laughs> I went by that as you, uh, your online name for a long time. Mad Monkeys? You went by Mad Monkeys online? That's pretty cool. Wait, unless it's Song of the Fallen. Or is it Age of Ashes? <laughs> I'm a I'm a, a fool. Ele elegy. Ooh, that's a good name. That's a that's a good name. Every once in a while, I do kick myself for going with Daisy. <laughs> I'm like Daisy. You could have picked a not name name. How could you? Hmm. Okay. I've gone through a few uh, names online. I also just don't want to change all my URLs. Many monkeys methodically make mischief manifested by man's machinations. <laughs> that's true. I do like I do like mad monkeys. I feel like that's a thing. Ringmaster's introduction. I like I like mad monkeys too much. This is a thing that Emmett would do. <laughs> but people can pronounce Daisy. That's fair. I only couldn't pronounce Elegy because I'm stupid. <laughs> Because <laughs> I am a fool. All right, what's our skill feat that we can get? I don't want reveal machinations. I didn't build into any of like the pools for things that I wanted for, for skill feats. I'm a fool. I didn't actually know what I wanted though. What if we just took... I feel like dubious knowledge. Is a fun one just to pick and I think it's funny to take it at 20th level and there's definitely better things. I didn't say I was making an optimal build. 
I'm just making a build. <laughs> My god. Dubious knowledge is funny. Hmm. All right. Yeah. We're going to take dubious knowledge as our 20th level thing. I don't want to do a million miles of items. I don't want to do a million items of item or a million miles of items. So we're going to go through and we're going to pick some basic weapons and give them some funny runes and we'll pick some basic gear and we'll call it good. <laughs> um, What's a funny thingy that Emmett would be proficient with? Hmm. I feel like since he's made a, a duck flail, I should give him a flail. I don't know if he's proficient with one, though. No, I don't think he is. I can give him a frying pan, though. <laughs> oh, but oh, my God. I think the frying pan is the way to go, unless I want to just do a battle loot and be like, it's been reflavored as a as an oboe. Hmm. No, a frying pan it is. Give. What are the runes that we're going to put on this? This is a 20th level character. I don't care. I'll just give myself <laughs> uh, <laughs> good runes. Whatever. It's a 20th level character that I'm never going to play. Frying pan loot. Oh god, you could string! You could put strings across a frying pan. My goodness. That's horrible. What's a good and funny rune that we could put on this? What if it was dancing? <laughs> what if it was dancing? <laughs> Curses, it's not a slashing weapon. I love that. <laughs> I just think it's important. <laughs> Vorpal, we can't put Vorpal on a frying pan. It's a slash. It has to be slashing. A frying pan is not slashing. I don't want to build illegal weapons. <laughs> I think it would be funny, though. I do like impossible, though. I glue a knife to it. Oh, God, I just get a bayonet attachment for the frying pan so I could make it Vorpal. It'd be hilarious. I do like the impossible enchantment. It's really funny. I gave um, my one high level wizard NPC in my campaign the impossible enchantment on his weapon. This rune makes a weapon capable of impossible offense and defense. The etched weapon is immune to dispel magic and similar effects that could counteract its magic. If it's a ranged or thrown weapon, its increment is doubled. You can activate it uh, with two actions. <laughs> Um, once per hour, you and the weapon flash to a perfect attacking position, then return to where you started. Make a strike with the etched weapon against one creature you can see, even if the target is beyond the weapon's reach or range. On this strike, ignore any circumstance penalty, status penalty, and range increment penalty. <laughs> My god. Terrible. Modified frying pan with razor sharp edges around the pan portion. God pan loot and can have vorpal oh that's so silly frying pan with a butter knife and strings so it functions as a loot god i don't want to build it though but that is a good concept i wish i i gotta double check i don't know where i put the the png i made i made like a png tuber of uh, of emmet <laughs> Even though he doesn't stream. <laughs> All right. There it is. I can open this in my browser. <laughs> there it is. So this is this is the, the, the goblin that we're building. It's great. My my beloved. <laughs> All right. All right, you know what? We're gonna just do impossible, and I don't, I don't want to think too hard about this. Uh, fucking, <laughs> I could just put bracers of armor here. What if I just just put bracers of armor here? That's fine. <laughs> All right, 
I don't want to think about gear. Oh god, we have to pick spells! There's so many! <laughs> My god! My god, that's adorable, Brown! God, that's adorable. Emmett Kane, Bard Extraordinaire. <laughs> oh, that's so good! God, I love it. I feel like maybe I should just make a proper, uh, like, full body design of Emmett as a bard. I don't want to pick spells, but I gotta pick spells. Why are there so many? There's so many spells to pick. <laughs> OP Pan isn't too crazy. He just makes it so he can deal 1d4 slashing or the base bludgeoning damage by player's choice. That's true. That's true. All right. Oh my god, I could get Shadow. I could give him Shadow Army. <laughs> There's so many spells. Why are there so many spells? I think Nullify is funny. And what's in indestructibility? You can't be affected by anything unless you choose to be. Yeah, that's fine. Shadow army plus mad monkeys. No, that's so many. <laughs> Bard with a magic fry frying pan, cast iron. Yeah. Yeah. God, there's so many spells. What the hell? Why are there so many? Would y'all yell at me if I didn't pick spells? Because there's so many here and I want to play Kirby. <laughs> what if I just give you all the build link and say you can pick spells? <laughs> you can all pick spells and then post it in the Discord. What's the deity? <laughs> Emmett, Emmett, what's your alignment? I'm casting detect alignment on you in real life, and by that I mean I'm just asking. Uh, chaotic good. I'm surprised you picked a normal.